Welcome to our tutorial on navigating the Postman interface. In this video, we will take you through a comprehensive tour of the Postman tool, showing you how to navigate its various features and functionality. Whether you are new to Postman or looking to enhance your skills, this guide will help you become proficient in using this powerful development environment. Postman is a versatile tool designed to simplify API development, testing and collaboration. Let's start by exploring the main components of the Postman interface. The Postman interface consists of the several key components. First is the workspace, second is the site builder, third is the request builder, fourth is the response viewer and fifth is the tabs. Now I will take you through the each components in detail on the Postman and here now I will explain you each component. So first component is the workspace. In the main menu you can see the workspace. From here you can search your existing workspace or you can create the new workspace for that click on the create workspace. Click on the next button and give the name to your workspace so i will give it name as a my workspace and click on the create button to create the workspace now we are in our my workspace so workspace is where you will find all collections environments and the history of your request you can organize your works into different workspace for a better organization. Next component, next component is the sidebar. So this is the sidebar. The sidebar provides a quick access to different sections of your postman, including collection, history, environments, and many more. Next component is the request builder. The request builder is where you will create and send API request. Here you can specify the URL, request parameters, headers and the authentication method. Next component is the response viewer. After sending the request, the response viewer displays the response from the server. You can view the response body, headers, cookie and the other details in the response. Next component is the tabs. Postman uses tabs to manage multiple requests and responses simultaneously. You can open multiple tabs to work on a different request or switch between the different views. The last component is the toolbar. The toolbar contains the various tools and options for working with the request and the collections. Here you will find buttons for sending the request, saving collections and many more. Now that we have covered the main components, let's walk through a step by step guide to using the postman collection. So first we will create a new request. To create the new request, click on the new button here or you can add new tab here as well to add your new request. So for the example purpose, I will search for the test APIs. So test REST APIs. We will go to the, this REQ, RES request response website and we will test the one API to get the single user. So the endpoint for that API will be REQ RES dot in slash api slash users2 so we'll copy this endpoint or the url of the api we'll paste here select the request type so for this api we will require the method as a get method and click on the send button to test the api so here in the response you can see we are getting the details of this particular user whose ID is 2, uh, its email is Janet.Weaver, first name, last name, image and the URL. 
now we will save this api in the collection by saving the apis in a collection we can organize our apis under the same collection suppose there is any api which is required for the login so you can create the collection or that click on collection give it name as a my collection now again go to back to our api request click on save and from here you can select in which collection you want to save and give it the proper name so i will give it as a get users detail api and click on the save button next point i will explain its environments as you know any website has the multiple environments like the development stage and the production environment so you can create the multiple environments in a postman as well so for that click on the create environment give it name as a production environment and inside the environment you can set the variables so first variable we will set as a url in the initial value we will add api url value so its value will be http s colon www.example.com and in the current value as well we will keep the same value and save this prod environment same way we will create the another environment that is the development environment and we'll give it name as a dev in the development environment we will set the value of url as the value of this api we'll add the slash trailing slash at the end of this url click on save now we have created the two environments now go to our request which is used to fetch the user whose id is two details and we will call this url from the variable right now here you can see there is no environment selected so i will select the environment as a dev and we will access this url using the variables so to access the variables we need to use double curly braces and the name of our variable our variable name is the url and close the double curly brace here you can see on on overing the url we are getting the variable values which we have set it as a req res dot in and we will check by sending the request so we are getting the response now if you want to test the prod apis so for the prod api the url might be the different so you can just change your environment from here and you can test your apis for the prod environments now i will hover on this url variable so here you can see now i am getting the url value as a different which we have set in the prod environment so that's it from this tutorial you have now learned how to navigate to the postman how to create the collection and how to send the request in the request builder and check the response in the response builder also you will be able to create test and manage apis more efficiently than ever before be sure to explore the more advanced features and functionality to further enhance your productivity thanks for watching our tutorial be sure to subscribe to our channel for more tips tutorial and updates on api development